The way to think about caves is that they're like this little home that protects things that are inside them. If you've had a tiger that got bones back to the cave, or if you've had floods that brought deposits into the cave in the past, the cave is really good at preserving all of them. In that sense, yeah, caves are fantastic locations to look for paleontological records and archaeological records and climate records. Stalagmites record a lot about the environment around them all of the time that they've been precipitating. And stalagmites can really grow over tens of thousands of years. So it really gives us information from uh, locally, did you have a drought at that time and what was the pattern of the drought, to much larger scale, like how were sea surface temperatures or circulation changes impacting these very local droughts. What we're really hoping is that the stalagmites that we collect come from a date range when the climate system was changing. By looking at how this region changed in those time periods, we can get a much better understanding of um, how this region might change in the next several hundred years when we are very likely to be undergoing a significant warming. You have climate models that are saying that when the temperature gets higher, this is how the rainfall is going to change. But there is no data to check against. So the nice thing is with stalagmites and with other natural archives like this, we can give them the data. 